Hi guys, my name is Luke, and in this video we are going to talk about words related to black holes. But before we get started with that, make sure you subscribe. And also, if you haven't already, check out my courses in the links in the description. All right, let's begin. For the first time ever, an image of a real black hole has been captured by astronomers. And we've known about black holes for a long time, but we've never seen one. So this is a very big moment in the history of our understanding of the universe, in the history of astrophysics. Right? Astrophysicists have known about black holes forever. Well, not forever. For a long time. But we've just never seen one. And now we have. And here it is. Now, it's, it's blurry, but that's because it's 55 million light years away, which is a very, very long distance. 55 million light years. Now, this picture was taken by a telescope called the Event Horizon Telescope. Actually, not only one telescope, sort of a connection or network of telescopes all pointing at the same thing. That's how scientists were able to get this image. So of course, this is very cool, but as you're reading about it online or perhaps watching videos about it, if you are, you may be a little confused about some of the words you see, some of the words related to black holes, because really, it's jargon. Jargon is words that are specialized in a certain field. So what I want to do is talk about a few of them so that when you're reading about this story, you can understand it a little bit more completely. Now, I am not a scientist. I am not an astrophysicist, but I am really interested in this this stuff. So I'm going to do my best to explain these these words that you see connected to black holes so that when you're reading about it, it's easier to understand. As I mentioned, the telescope that captured this image is called the Event Horizon Telescope. Why is it called the Event Horizon Telescope? Well, I think we need to step back for a second and just be very clear about what a black hole is. So what is a black hole? Is it a hole in space? And I jump in and, and go down a slide and land in some water? <laughs> or is it an empty area in space? What is it? Well, it's an object. It is an object in space, just like a star or a planet. That's all it is. The difference is its gravity is so strong that nothing can escape it, not even light, not even light. And that is why it's called a black hole. We've got gravity on Earth, but we can jump up and down and light can leave Earth. So the gravity on Earth isn't nearly as strong as the gravity of a black hole. If it were, everything would collapse down to a point called a singularity. So black holes have to be very, very massive. The area around that dense center, that singularity then, has such strong gravity that nothing, including light, nothing is able to leave. The edge of that area then is what is called the event horizon. You can think of the event horizon as the edge of the black hole. And if you're standing away from it, like in the image, it's really kind of like the surface. Not exactly a surface that you could knock on, but from a distance like the surface of the black hole. Okay, so we understand what a black hole is and we're clear on the event horizon, but what is that glowing disk in the image? What is that? That's called the accretion disk. It's glowing plasma moving very quickly around the black hole. Because its gravity is so strong, it pulls things in and things move around it at very, very high speeds so fast that it's glowing. Saying that light can't escape a black hole kind of makes it sound like gravity is pulling on the light, not letting it leave, like an overprotective parent. But actually, that's not quite accurate. In fact, the gravity of the black hole changes the shape of space itself. 
it's not like space stays the same and something pulls on the light. No, we live in what we call space-time, space and time. This is an idea that Albert Einstein came up with called the general theory of relativity. Massive objects, large objects with a lot of mass, have more gravity. And the gravity of those objects bends or warps space and time, what we call space-time. Does that mean that we're living in the warped space created by the Earth? Yes, that's right. There are no little strings pulling on us. Earth warps or bends space-time, the universe, the fabric of the universe. So we are affected by the bending or warping of space-time caused by Earth. Earth has gravity too. It's just not that strong. Imagine dropping a ball onto a cloth. Right? It makes a little indentation. It warps the cloth. But if it's a very heavy ball, it warps it much, much more. And the walls of that are so steep that even the thing which is most free, light, even that cannot climb up the walls because the gravity is so strong. Space-time is warped so much. Time and space have been warped so much that nothing can get out. So if it's called space-time, that means that gravity must also affect time, right? Yes, that's right. So around a black hole, time is moving more slowly. Then time moves around the Earth. Have you ever seen the movie Interstellar? It's a pretty good movie. In that movie, the main characters visit a planet that's near a black hole. And they're only there for a couple hours, but when they leave, their children are much older. Something like 10 or 15 years older, maybe more, I can't remember. I only saw it once. But time moved much more slowly for the people around the black hole because the black hole's gravity affected, bent, or warped space-time. So when we look at this picture of this supermassive black hole, it's called a supermassive black hole, at the center of this galaxy, exactly where it should be, exactly where it should be, and we see this dark kind of spooky, almost spooky area in the middle where we know light cannot escape, it helps to validate Einstein's general theory of relativity. This theory, which Einstein came up with a hundred years ago, is so accurate that it can predict exactly what we saw when we took a picture of the center of a galaxy 55 million light years away. And I don't know about you, but I think that is completely amazing. And when I look at this picture, which I have been looking at for the last several hours, I am just lost in wonder. All right, guys, well, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this breathtaking image in the comments, and I'll see you next time.